So the fire is now burning and I'm weeding um, in the garden. And this is, a, this is how we used to weed when I was working at the zoo. Put weeds in the bucket. So just sit on it. And that was, you know, not all the time though. Because this was only, um, I think we only did this when I was working at the, in the animal enclosures and stuff like that, or maybe around, an, I don't know, but I didn't have, I what didn't have this luxury when um, I was in the Dorothy Harvey Gardens when the, like say weeding or working around the tulips and such, because, um, well, you can't set the <laughs> bucket in the tulip patch and just, that would crush the tulips. So you have to stand and bend down and it makes you feel really sick because your head is down and I mean you're just bent over all day. You can't, you can't, um, you have to stand and weed so, it's, but anyway, but I'm glad that I worked there to learn this nifty trick of sitting on the bucket when it's feasible to do so because Sure helps. I don't feel like using two hands right now, so I'm only using the one. I'm not getting a whole lot of weeds, but I have. It's always a pain when you have an herb garden and you have something like right now. I'm weeding um, creeping bellflower out from the oregano and. If I can get it all under control by the first week of June, which is coming up, then it'll be easy for me to maintain the garden um, throughout the summer. So that is my goal right now, just to do that. And uh, while the while the fire is getting started, and then I'll put those potatoes on first because they have the longest cooking time. <laughs> 